Alright, Mushroom Hill Zone. Mario called, he wants his aesthetic back. No, but anyway, I'm kidding around. Mushroom Hill is a fine zone. This will be the first zone if you're playing Sonic & Knuckles on its own, but I wouldn't recommend doing that for a few reasons. First off, we see Knuckles here doing his thing. It looks like he locked some door here, some possible secret, as it's a new giant ring, one that's kind of glowy. This doesn't just give us the 50 rings like before, no, no. Now... We brought all these Chaos Emeralds into this chamber with the Master Emerald lying in the middle. Because now we have the Super Emeralds. That's right, seven new special stages in the Sonic & Knuckles half of things. Uh, this is also, I believe, exclusive to Sonic 3 & Knuckles, since there's no other way to get well, all the special stages in a row like this. These special stages are much harder, uh, but I like that, because I like Blue Sphere stages, so giving us some new... New content with them is fun. And what's also fun about this is that you can choose the special stages. All the different emeralds are laid out there in that kind of hub. Uh, you're free to just go around and head into any stage you'd like. If for whatever reason there's one stage you want to really practice at, like it's giving you a hard time, then go for it. Or if you want to move on and do other stages in the midst of everything, that's also okay. There's a lot of freedom of choice with the uh, super emerald stages here, and I like that. By the way, you can tell from my outfit, it's a different recording session, that's, uh... I was actually wearing the same shirt today. This is like a week later. It just so happens I was wearing the same green shirt, and I was like... I want to change up my shirt for a different recording session. So, yeah, I, uh, I got changed just for this. Yeah, it happens. And hey, we got the Super Emerald, our first one. Uh, the red one here. Now, of course, in this kind of overworld where we select the special stages, it's gonna... Start glowing red, meaning we've completed that special stage, we don't have to do it again. I like that. Very nice. Wait, that didn't look red. What the hell? Well, anyway, Mushroom Hill Zone, for realsies this time. Just like with Angel Island Zone, since this is early on, I want to get as many of these uh, Super Emeralds as I can early on. Especially because the later zones are pretty damn hard. Sonic & Knuckles on its own is, in fact, really damn hard. The hardest in the original Genesis Sonic games, I'd say. Now, it makes sense playing it as the second half of Sonic 3, because the difficulty is scaled up. You know, most of Sonic 3 was pretty easy. Uh, so, so now we've got the, the real challenge, you know? Ugh. Swinging up on these things, it's a bit taxing. Oh god, careful Sonic, I don't want to lose my rings here. Oh, by the way, because we deposit all of the uh, Chaos Emeralds in the Super Emerald special stage, we can no longer turn Super Sonic. It's kind of a shame, but they also do want to make things more challenging in the last parts of the game, you know. Oh, we got another special stage here, let's go. I think Tails got a ring down there, alright. Uh, let's just try to do them left to right. Okay, it is red. What do we got here? Oh god, I remember this one. So that's a lot of blue spheres, as you can see. That's another running theme with the end knuckles special stage, is that there's just a lot of blue spheres you gotta get. This one's pretty simple, it's just going around a square a few times. Getting a perfect on this is... Very challenging, because you gotta jump into the middle and get those rings there, as you can see. I'm not gonna bother with that. Otherwise, there's not too much going on here. Uh, we're speeding up. Uh, two left. Alright, there they are, as we're walking backwards. Come on, Sonic, you gotta pick up the emerald, it's over there. I like this color scheme, though, it's blue and yellow, like Sonic and Tails. That's actually... So, uh, back in my background, I have the yellow and blue, and of course those are like contrasting colors, so they work well together. It looks nice, I think. The light down there is just like a little desk lamp. It's not actually like a proper studio lamp. It's not proper lighting equipment. So of course it's very yellow, it's indoor lighting. This light over there, as well as the one on me and the middle background light that's pure white. So these three are all proper lights, which means I can put gels on them, so I have a... I have a choice of what gel I can put on the other one over there, and I guess I could do a red one if I really wanted to. Um, it's an option. Oh my god, another one? Really? Alright. I could do a red one there for the end knuckles theme, but I don't know, Sonic and Tails, it's so iconic to me, blue and yellow. I, I like this look more. I could also do another yellow one over there if I really wanted to have a yellow background. Hey, I guess if we're ever playing a Rystar sequel that doesn't exist, it's an option. Just 20 left, so this one doesn't have as many blue spheres. Just a little trickier to get. Oh, we're fast. Eight more. Six more. Probably one square somewhere, right? Uh... Oh, oh god. That threw me off, but we're good. <laughs> we're all good. We got the orange emerald here. Yeah, I enjoyed the extra blue sphere stages for going the, the super emeralds. Three out of seven already. 
like I said, a lot of them going on early on here in Mushroom Hill Zone. We haven't even done Act 2 yet. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's good that we have this many, uh, as many big rings early on, so we can hopefully get all of the Super Emeralds and get our next Super Form to go even further beyond, as they say in DBZ. Ooh, God, look at that. You know, Mushroom Hill's fine as a level. I honestly don't have too much against it. It's definitely the easiest of all the end knuckle stages. Because, oh god, the next zone. I have problems with the next zone, I'll tell you that much. Oh, there go all the rings. Oh, looks like it's time for the boss. And it's this guy. He's a robot with an axe. Oh god. Yeah, his jet, jet booster's down there hurt. That's why the instant shield's very useful, so you avoid getting hit. But all he does is cut down some wood and shoot it our way. He's really easy. All right, moving on to Act 2 of Mushroom Hill Zone. Mushroom Hill Zone really is the defining, the de facto, I should say, middle part of Sonic 3 & Knuckles. It serves as a perfect kind of middle-of-the-road difficulty, nothing too crazy going on. The bosses are, you know, fine. Um, it's got stage gimmicks, which is fun. Like, Knuckles here is activating this blower, which takes us to an autumn kind of looking place. The main thing is it gives you a lot of opportunities for Super Emeralds, which is fantastic. Let's see, can I find any more Super Emeralds in Act 2 here? Oh, that was a smooth move there, Sonic. Generally, a good move is sticking to the high ground. Because, like, yep, up here. I had a feeling. The high ground in Mushroom Hill, it's where you want to be. Uh, this would be number four, if we can get it. I usually don't fail the Blue Sphere stages, because, I, I mean, I, first of all, I enjoy them, but also I've played them so many times. Usually when I play this game, I go for the, the big rings. Because, first off, it's good to learn where more new ones are from playing over and over again. But also, initially getting supersonic with those seven K arrow symbols is really rewarding. I don't know if you noticed, but we breezed through the latter half of Sonic 3 uh, once we got supersonic. Again, those stages are much easier, but it's still worth noting. Oh, a whole bunch of springs there, and it led me back to where I was. Great. Here we go. Here's some more. Uh, 16... Not this way. Back up into the right... No, we got that as well. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is it. This is all of them. Alright, there's just a big square I was missing out on, but we got it. The green Super Emerald. I feel like sometimes it'd be confusing Super Emeralds and Chaos Emeralds, because it's confusing because the, the Chaos Emeralds make us become Super Sonic, so the Super Emeralds make us become Chaos Sonic? What's the deal there? But yeah, 4 out of 7. We're doing pretty well. They placed the green one right under the Master Emerald, which is also green. That's not confusing, is it? <laughs> Back when Sonic Movie 2 was coming out, there was a whole bunch of confusion of is this a Chaos Emerald he's looking at? Is it the Master Emerald? Is it one of the Super Emeralds? Like, what is this? And the way they handled the movie, honestly, I think is a lot less confusing than this. But that's also because... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Never mind, I thought there was a Super Emerald up there. Oh, well. We're in a different season now, by the looks of it. But in the movie, you have the, you know, the one Master Emerald. And, uh, it's made up of the other Chaos Emeralds. That's, I feel like that's much less confusing than having all these, like, Super Emeralds and the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emeralds, and they're barely related, but, you know. We have some sort of radar dish here that we can take out. Oh, that was affecting the weather. Oh, <laughs> thanks for getting a hit in for me, Tails. I just took a hit from, like, a fool. But this is actually a really fun boss here, where it uses obstacles. It's a running fight. It reminds me of something you'd seen, honestly, in Sonic CD. Much more cutting edge than the rest of the bosses in early Sonic games, I'd say. Look at Tails getting that extra hit, hell yeah. Oh, there, down he goes. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those obstacles along the way. I also love how he rams into the tree and his machine just implodes on itself. But there we go. That is all of Mushroom Hill Zone done. Most of the Super Emeralds along the way, that's pretty good. Oh, Sonic, you doing alright there? And in flies this thing. This is the ship that bombed the hell out of Tails back in... Angel Island Zone. There you go, Sonic. Come on now. <laughs> we grab on, just like we did with the rocket leading to Death Egg and... Ooh! Okay, so Flying Battery. I hate this zone. It's about as slow and filled with obstacles as Marble Zone from the original Sonic the Hedgehog. I do like that we have the Fire Shield and it's very useful here. Um... But we also have, like, bottomless pits in this area, which just makes using the fire shield an absolute risk. I don't love this place, but I love its music, man. It's so good. I'm not sure if this track was in Sonic Origins. 
Uh, I don't really care, because I've made it clear. You play this game and it's with its original soundtrack. Ice Cap Zone is reason alone. Carnival Night is also a really good reason. But boy, Flying Battery is probably my, my... After Ice Cap, my second favorite track in this game. It's really good. Even if the zone itself can really kick you in the balls sometimes. Ooh. Yeah, this design is wild. Ooh! Uh, well, Tails got some rings for me. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> Don't question that noise I made. Whew. Alright, no, nothing up there. I'm looking for more Super Emerald Rings, so we can hopefully get a few in this stage. Hit. 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 Aha. Hit. Ooh. Hit. Alright, where am I going? Oh, extra life. Alright, I'll take it. We've been doing just fine on lives, especially with all the rings we've been collecting each stage. Ooh. Uh, ah, well, so much for the rings we were collecting. Oh, shit. We gotta be patient, we gotta land on it. That's the kind of shit I don't like. It's like Marble Zone, like I said. I like moments like this where we're speeding on by. It really brings the whole level design together because we go through areas we would have, like, just passed by before. Oh, no, no, no. I know I know you're gonna activate. Don't play that trick on me. Let's do a bonus game. Why the hell not? What do we got here? We got the slot machine, as usual. Oh, a hey. Success. One more, one more. Ooh. Never mind. Uh, you know, one, one, one more. Well, it's like real gambling. Just one more, right? Oh, nice. All right, that's good enough. Just a bit of fun to mix in the stages. Why not, right? Where am I going? Uh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I got very lucky it landed uh, as I jumped there. Is there anything secret this way? <laughs> I really want to find those super emeralds. What can I say? I mean, four in the first zone. I would hope we at least get one in the second zone. Oh! Alright, here we go. Oh god! Whew. Good jump, Sonic. Oh, alright. This is kind of the weirdest part of the stage where we have to wait for these missiles to come down and blow a hole, giving us an entryway. Like, that's the only time in the entire stage that happens. It's so random. I, I'm not crazy about it. I'm not crazy about anything flying battery. I don't know if you notice. Also, hey, we made it to the mini-boss. No special stages, sadly. This mini-boss is uh, one who kills himself. All you gotta do is just stand on the button. He's gonna want to hit himself. And you either get off or just take the hit. What the hell, why not? Because all he does is stand here and occasionally attack, again, himself. Oh, he's pretty easy. Tails doesn't do much to help us, sadly. There he goes. <laughs> and he freed the animals inside. I have to feel a little worried for the animals in there who were whose container was constantly getting smacked with that wrecking ball and it, which then exploded and of course flying battery 2 is just as good if not even better it's more sleek it sounds more dangerous oh god ow all right we're good ooh careful sonic all right ooh electric shield all right get, give me those rings give me a super emerald ring too oh god the rings they're flying everywhere Oh, man. Okay, these corkscrews can be a little finicky and will crush us if we don't get out of here in time. Uh, zoom. There we go. Oh, another one. Oh, this is... Oh, <laughs> there was a bottomless pit down there. That was not safe. Oh, I want an extra life and a fire shield. I mean, I, I like the electric shield. Typically more than the fire shield. Is there anything down here, or is this just my death? This is a whole different pathway of the checkpoint. Ah, you know, I'm just glad I got a checkpoint is all. Talk about Trolley, by the way, having those animal capsules there, and you open them, and it's just... It's just badniks. Just like with the boss, how you hit the capsule, and it's just actually a boss, instead of the... the animals you want to rescue at the end. Well, it is the animals you want to rescue at the end, it's just... They're trapped behind some sort of... Kind of weird, sick contraption that Robotnik's made. Oh, here we go. Who? Ah! All right, there goes the shield. What do we have up here? Oh, take me. Where are we going, platforms? Is there is there a super emerald up here somewhere, perhaps? Oh, ah, oh, I wasn't ready. Oh, God. Oh, all right. I don't think I've been on this path before. Oh, wait, maybe I have. Hold on, I gotta be faster. Here we go. He, yeah. Ooh. Oh, this part's cool. We Well, I love how these things just, like, slam us into the ground, still at top speed. Careful, Sonic, don't get crushed. Oh god, careful! Oh, we can come from there. It's a different path. Uh, hello. Ow! I should've waited for the platform. <gasps> Sonic, no! 
Oh, alright, we're good. I'm gonna put the path down here, another checkpoint. You get out of the way. Hmm. There might have been something up there. Uh. Oh, Tails went in somewhere. There is something up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You get out of the way. Yeah. I'm holding left. Tails clearly got up there. Hold on, buddy. You, I still control you with this? Yeah. Hey. Ah, there we go. Hell yeah. We finally got one in flying battery. Thank God. All right. Super Emerald number five. Here we go. This one's pretty simple from what I remember. Just a few corners in the middle bit. We got our tidy up is all. Have some, you know, stuff on the outside, some stuff on the inside. Pretty basic. Interesting color scheme, though. Pink and lime green. So garish. All right, in the middle bit now, we got a huge pile in here. In fact, I think I'm just about done here. Yep, these six over here is all we need. And bingo. All right, five out of seven Super Emeralds. So in, in Sonic and Knuckles, there's six, so seven. Okay, the number of zones in Sonic and Knuckles is weird. In the Sonic and Knuckles half of things. Uh, but I, I, I'm certain I can get two more Super Emeralds before the end. That's what I can say. Oh, hold on, we got a boss just over here. Man, they really put that at the very end, and... Hey, doesn't this look familiar? It's the big boob that shoots lasers at us. Um, the boob was the hitbox in Sonic 2 and Wing Fortress Zone. We had to walk around some spike platforms in order to reach it. Now, instead, similar to the mini-boss, we're just letting Robotnik deal with himself. Yeah, keep shooting yourself, dumbass. As you'll notice, as it hits the ground, there's an explosion. Our walls kind of close in. It's pretty simple. Luckily, this isn't all there is to the boss. It gets more complicated, I swear. As soon as it stops, you can just go. No real challenge to it. Robotnik's somehow surprised that he was shooting himself at that moment. Um, but now, we're ascending high. and It's a good thing we got a checkpoint, because this bit's pretty challenging. We don't want to get crushed along the way. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, uh, you know what that'll do. Uh, do I want it this way? Yes. Ooh. Use a spring. I'm missing out on so many rings. I don't think there's any super rings here. I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> Poor Tails. Just gets crushed along the way. It's okay, buddy. You're safe now. As we ascend from the flying battery... What's the deal with flying battery anyway? Like, where are we now? What's the deal here? Oh god, I wish I had a fire shield. Get a ring! Okay, thank you, Tails. So he's gonna just be moving around shooting fire at us. And he's gonna swing himself up like so. Which is pretty easy to hit, as you can see. Uh, in fact, he comes up a lot of times. Wow. Oh, get out of the way, Sonic. He's gonna do the fire. If we do have a fire shield, it makes it much easier. Also, honestly, the electric shield with a double jump would be really nice, just so we, uh, we can get over him much easier without him to go, like, in between at any point. A pretty easy boss. And that is the end of Flying Battery. God, I love the music here. Alright. Hit this, and we're done. Oh. <laughs> Sonic, what was that?